Hi, my name is Vajnath and I want to show you how we can run IPS sensor on the GNS3. So let's begin. Let me go let me show you my GNS3 which has been already installed and I already created a project but let me do this. Let me show you like how I have configured the IPS but the configuration part will be uh, how to set up an IPS sensor and how to install that that I will be showing you in the another video but in this video I just wanted to show you like how it looks and feel to run an IPS sensor on the GNS3 so let's go ahead edit preferences Qum. and the last tab that we see here that says IDS right so on the IDS this is the image which I already created so we need to create a disk 1 and disk 2 image which I will run you through the configuring the IPS image on my next recording on this recording I just want to show you like we can emulate IPS sensor on GNS3 and that's good news right so we can even emulate ASA that I have already done on this device of course we can do Junos Pigs and guest operating system so let's go I just want you to sh see like how my IPS sensor look and feel when I run that on my GNS3 so cancel so first thing first let me add a cloud and configure the cloud mm, virtual box network the virtual box is the one the Oracle VM I installed that on my machine so I'm going to use one of that interface here I'll select OK apply and from the list I need to find my ideas that's the one come on yep and the switch I'm going to use the default GNS3 switch and let's make a connection now I'm going to use a manual connection and make sure that the IDS sensor it's not a hot swappable so the IDS sensor should be off only at that point you should be you will be able to make a connection so Ethernet E0 on the switch 1 2 to my virtual machine and let's stop this right click the IPS sensor configure let's have a look on that this is the same configuration and I just like you to show like what is this IPS disk 1 and IPS disk 2 so if I browse through my C drive GNS3 no uh, its program files GNS3 you should be able to see IPS disk 1 right so this is the IPS disk 1 IPS disk 2 and this is an actual recovery image of IPS sensor through which I have created the virtual disk 1 and virtual disk 2 and we'll go through this in my next recording how we can create those disks and how we can install the operating system on the virtual machine using IPS recovery CD and okay right click and start you can see that I have popped up with QM which says IPS Cisco recovery clean password and I need to select the first option to boot into my IPS sensor so my IPS sensor is booting up mm -hmm. it's going through the boot process starting the process we can ignore those warnings where we see the warning because it's a, a custom warnings that we can see so this is a prompt where I can see that Cisco sensor login so it's IPS sensor login and let me log in here Cisco is a default username and this is the second time I am logging into this device so I, I already changed my password so the default password is not Cisco anymore 
I am going to type in my custom password here and boom here we go so you can see that that is some issue with the license on this device but then too the IPS sensor is up and running so you can see the IPS sensor I can sh show you it's a version 6.0 and that's it I think it should be formatted for you and I'll take you through the next training where I'll show you how we can install an IPS sensor using recovery CD thank you for watching